Hey, what's up, guys? This is Matt here from Play World Domination, and today I'm coming at you guys, or coming to you guys, with um, a video explaining how to farm um, in World Domination. So I get this question a lot, and um, it's pretty simple. The answer is pretty simple. Um, it's basically, well, let me show you. I was on my guild map, but um, first, actually, I have to do a shout out. Um, two shout outs. First, a shout out to Max Football. Um, in my guild for the infected player world domination one um max football just reached um he just reached level fifty which is max you don't go you don't get like level fifty one amadeus two um is amadeus that um maybe some of you guys know on twitter um he comes to my streams he's just a really active fan and um he passed me out and he's been playing like probably nonstop level 36 now and then Jack Jack me chopper who is probably one of my biggest fans um and he's level 37 so those are my shout outs uh today and yeah i wanted to go ahead and get going here so basically how you farm um in this game is um you farm by doing these kind of maps and basically what they are is normal cities that have this kind of running guy on them. These you farm in, and the reason why is because I would pay 105 brains to attack that, um, and I get 325 if I defend it. Um, so I'm making a profit of, let's test my math here, um, $220 in total. So you're paying, but you're also getting it back. So you're getting $220 um, in total, um, and that's pretty good. That's how you farm up brains. Now, the way that you spend your brains is by using, let me find one, by doing guild raids. And guild raids, there's actually a raid apparently on in Los Angeles, but um, I'm getting um, notifications, but <laughs> there's a raid on Los Angeles going on, um, or there was. So if we do try again, um, somebody's, there, there is a raid going on right now with Demon Lord, Clash of Clans, apparently, um, but basically, these kind of raids, when you attack them, you don't get, as you can see in the corner here, you don't get brains back, you get DNA, which, let me show you, is the second currency, and you also get, um, uh, like, units, so, and when you go into the store here, you're spending your brains, um, well, of course, you have to do all those units, but then after you do that, I'm not obviously going to upgrade him because I wouldn't want to waste these, but I would have to spend 902 brains to upgrade him. So, um, you're spending units and you're also spending, um, brains. So that's how you use your brains and then that's how you farm them is by doing it on these, um, like little squad runner pad things um, and these are guild raids like I said those give you DNA um, and troops um, to help you upgrade these are just like abandoned bunker things I, I don't really do those <laughs> um, and those are like cities that anybody can attack and they give you DNA uh, coins and um, and packs like troop packs um, so that's pretty cool um, I wanted to just kind of show you guys and I wanted to go ahead and do a raid in Mumbai, Demon Lord, Clash of Clans, uh, shout out to him, he is a level 8, he has one brain, <laughs> um, then watch my how to farm video coming out that I'm recording right now. Anyway, um, so that's how we do it. Let's go ahead and do Mumbai over here. I could probably just click on there and then do attack. Uh, we're 70% on our way to the cesspool as well as uh, an uncommon pack. So as you can see there, we're, t we're paying 105 brains. And like we said, 325, so we're making 220 profit. Um, and 
we can go ahead and head into Mumbai here. It's loading up, loading up. And right from the start here, we see these three groups, which I'm going to go ahead and just wipe out with the delivery man. Field medic actually was destroyed by it, which I didn't think would be. So that's pretty good. We'll go ahead and spawn the rest of our drones, drop our level 20 reanimators, which are just going to make us get so many more drones. Uh, just from those four doing some work on those corpses, as you can see, we already have um, 30, um, maybe even 40 after they're done, extra drones to use. No, 30. Um, after here, it'll probably be around 60. So Field Medic, that second batch is done now. Um, the hospital's in here, and then we should be able to move on. All right. Reanimators are moving up. They're actually going to start spawning some more over here. So now we're at 60. We can respawn. Um, let's see. All right, cool. Looks like he's glitching out a little bit. He's getting stuck. Maybe I sh can help them with a flare or something. Let's go ahead and flare him over. Yep, that helped. All right, cool. Um, not that I should have to do that, but, <laughs> uh, that's alright. The game is still in beta, as I always say, so you have to expect that. And, and that's a perfect technique, actually. I just realized that flare to somewhere and then put the stimsy right on top of it, because that way you're going to get as many people as possible. I'm going to get rid of this dead shot, because he is trouble a lot of the time. Go ahead and do that, and then another strategy is to spawn those and then throw a stimsy on top of them as well. Um, because that definitely helps you. So Lumberjack is down uh, thanks to that Stimsy, and we will need our, the rest of our horde to take down them, but we already have a, a, like a whole other horde to start spawning. So uh, we have a minute and 16 seconds left, and we have, looks like, one hospital down. Is that why we have a star? I think so. Where does the hospital be took out? Oh yeah, right there. I forgot about that. Alright, so now we are headed down here and we have another batch of the Lumberjacks and the Deadshot. Let's go ahead and throw one of those um, flares in. And it might have not been good because they're just going to rip up anybody that comes in there. But I guess that's going to get a lot of them a lot closer and it's going to boost their speed. So now that we need them, they can just go in there and completely take control um, of those Lumberjacks. So one of the drones went behind and killed the dead shot, which was awesome. I did not see that. Uh, but it looks like that last lumberjack is going to go down right now. There he goes. Um, and a researcher, we just killed the researcher. So it looks like we still have survivors left because we don't have that second star yet. Here they are over here. Let's go ahead and throw down them. Um, and then I can throw, go ahead and throw a delivery man. He should help out. And, um, oh, I thought he was going to go for the wall. He didn't go for the wall. Well, maybe we can do it down here. There we go. Spawn him in there. I actually timed it the other day, and the Stimsy comes every 15 seconds. Flare comes every 20 seconds. And the, um, oh, here comes the delivery man. <laughs> Just in time. Um, that's actually going to finish it off. But the, um, and the uh, sewer pop thing comes every minute and 15 seconds. So you use that one twice. Use the Stimsy if you do the math um, a lot. <laughs> and the flare is 20 seconds, so um, about nine times you could use the flare. Um, so Mumbai is another bit closer to being infected. We have, we're about halfway there. Um, a little, little more than that, but that's pretty good. Um, after that, like I said, we get the cesspool and a rare pack, which is awesome, and 25 coins, which I forgot about. I didn't even see that, so that's awesome. We have 159 right now, uh, so that'll definitely be helpful. But that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and for all things World Domination, make sure you keep checking back here for the latest news, gameplay tips, and tricks. I'm Matt, and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. <laughs>